Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. Got another top five video for you. This is going to be top five defenses, whether it's run, pass, blitzes. I'm going to have a good mixture of all the top defenses that I use, whether it's in my game plays or just the ones that I find are most effective for those causes. So if you want to see more videos like this, I already did top five runs, top five passes. I'll put links in the description below for those. But if you want to see more like a top five blitzes, I can always do that as well. So if you want to see that Monday, maybe Tuesday, tomorrow is pretty, I'm pretty sure tomorrow is going to be a gameplay unless this gets a ton of likes uh hit the like button and i'll make sure to put out top five blitzes within the next couple of days like i said if this video does really well gets a ton of likes i'll definitely put out top five blitzes tomorrow and that video will have a lot of blitzes that i've never put out on youtube specifically from my kansas city chiefs ebook uh link in the description below if you want to check that out because that's a very blitz heavy defense a very uh pass heavy defense other than that if you like what you see make sure to hit the subscribe button to stick around and let's get right into the video so if you didn't see this i'm going to show you guys how to do a really good a gap blitz uh, from the uh, cover three, or it's the cover three right there at the top from the three four bear. Uh, really, it's really simple. All you really have to do hit the right bumper, uh, the R, it's R one or the right bumper if you're on Xbox or PlayStation, and then you're going to pinch the entire defense. That's the first thing you want to do. Now, one of the things I don't like about that is typically your cornerbacks um, are susceptible outside. If you pinch the entire defense like that, uh, you can have your cornerbacks get beat on streaks. So that's something I'm going to adjust with in a minute here. So go ahead and pinch your defense. Then you're going to want to put the uh, the defensive front on a slant inside. That's D-pad to the left and down. Uh, you'll see they look like this now. They all are kind of like, that's kind of where this pressure comes from. You can see uh, they're all kind of crashing inwards in the one gap. This is basically going to glitch uh, the inside by giving switches or where they're going to switch them off and basically pass them off to nobody. So that's the second part. Third part, QB contain. That's hitting the uh, right bumper twice or the R1 button twice. And then I also like to uh, make sure that I uh, guess pass. Uh, I don't think that's 100% necessary. The last part and this is the part that's probably the hardest to figure out. Uh, was putting the B the B guy here um, on a uh, QB spy. That's the outside linebacker. So that's basically the setup right there. That out uh, that that QB spy really doesn't come into play at all. But without it, it doesn't work. So that's kind of you know, you know for whatever reason that's kind of what makes this play successful. And then I'll go ahead and I'll let it run. You're gonna see how these inside guys uh, a lot of times just basically switch off. Now it didn't work that time. Uh, I'll, I'll run it again for whatever reason. It's, sometimes it, it, it's a little spotty. So we'll go ahead and we'll do it again. Like I said, it can be a little bit spotty. So that's the look. So let's get this uh, let's get this rolling here. There we go. We got that switch right off the bat. So, so like I said, it can be a little spotty. It's not 100% accurate, but you definitely want to if you haven't had the opportunity to use this online. I did use this online a couple times. I got to be honest. Um, I wasn't um, I wasn't too impressed with it. I thought it was okay, but you know what I mean ultimately like I, I find that uh, You know, this isn't as good as you can see the same guy gets through there This isn't as good as it looks right now. It's definitely a good blitz I would say one of the uh, bigger issues is I mean the setups not too long But it is a little bit of a lengthy setup and then like I said, it's not hundred percent guaranteed you get that look a lot I mean, obviously, if somebody's bearing in your face just like that, that's not going to be easy. Uh, the cross three fires the play. Like I said, if you watch watched my channel for a long time, you've seen me run this play. I put out a video about it last year. Uh, but ultimately, this is something that I use in obvious passing situations. It's not something that you want to use all game. Uh, so obvious passing situations include things like second and long, third and long, fourth and long, um, you know, something like that. Uh, also, if it's uh, your opponent's down uh, late in the game, say they're down a touchdown or two, they got to pass. Uh, say they're you know, say there's like 30 or 40 seconds before halftime. They got to pass a good length of the field These are situations where you want to use this play I also use this in the red zone a lot if it's third and goal from like the eight or longer I'll pull this play out because like I said, it's not necessarily the best run defense But if it's, it's if they have to pass it's, it's almost impossible to pass against it. a lot of people really struggle against that So all I'm really gonna do when it comes to the adjustment is I'm going to hit uh, right on the right stick and then up to zone all so that's pretty much it so let's go ahead let's like i said I, a lot of times i can bring this guy down and user him if i have somebody uh in the in the in the um 
in the seam like say i want to take away this tight end specifically i can man that guy um, i can man the uh the y route here if, like i said if i'm if i'm thinking that we're gonna have uh, a seam play that's something that i can do although typically like i said i'll i'll typically cover the same i'll typically worry about that myself because it's a cover three i'm typically going to use that and then this is pretty much the play so like i said the only thing that can really give this play issues uh, other than plays up the seam as we get a a, a nice uh, i want to call that a coverage sack because he was definitely taken off i'm going to see that a lot the computer is not necessarily going to make the mistake of throwing into these zones uh like a lot of uh, users will They'll probably be, he'll probably be running a lot of taking off. Here's a snare. This is the look like I was saying. If I see a look like this, this is definitely one where that guy can go right up the seam. If he's uncovered like that, this is a play where I'm going to want to man somebody. So that's definitely a look right there where I would say, okay, we're going to man that guy. And then, like I said, I'll, one of the main reasons that I like to run this defense is it really, let, it really frees me up because I have so many yellow zones. I'm typically free to take one of these guys and roam however I want to roam and try to find, uh, you know, try to find interceptions. That's basically the idea. It frees me up as a user defender because I don't really have a responsibility because of all these yellow zones. So, like I said, I'm going to man that guy up particularly, let him get taken away by that, and then, like I said, hopefully they don't run a lot until I make the run adjustments. But you can see right there, I mean, there was a crossing route there, and he's basically just chucking up. There's nothing really open. That's the point. This is going to be one of the harder defenses to pass against. So like I was saying, if I really want to take away uh, some run lanes, all I have to do is D-pad down, D-pad to the left and down, and then D-pad to the right and down, and you can see how it takes away those uh, those run lanes. Now I'm also still I'm still going to do the zone all adjustment. You can see the outside guys typically are the ones um, that become in, in this particular look become the drop zones, which is perfect. So this is pretty much if I want to make a run defense, if somebody's running the ball, I can even bring this guy in a little bit, like especially on a play like this, because if it's going to be a run, it's going to be an inside zone, uh, and we can really take away any run lanes my favorite run defense is at my 4-4 split play it's the cover to invert out of the 4-4 split so as far as the setup goes that's really simple i mean all you really have to do to set this play up is hit your uh, d-pad to the left and down and hit your d-pad to the right and up and that's going to basically give you your uh your setup if you like i said if you watch my gameplays you see me do this all the time it's one of the quickest setup defenses in the game uh this is going to be the user you really have to watch any deep middle routes but most of the time people are going to come out when they're running stretch plays, you're coming out in like two tight end sets and stuff like that. So you really only have to watch like if uh, if that receiver all the way on the left there um, is, is in some sort of deep crosser, which is pretty rare. I mean, there's not really a ton of, of things that are going to draw you back, but you have to keep one eye on that mid read on that middle zone uh when you run this play the last thing you're going to do is you're going to put the y or you're going to hit y triangle then you're gonna hit down on the right stick for underneath coverage and that's pretty much it if you really know if you're like guaranteed that they're going to run you could also press bring these cornerbacks down that's not the end of the world also and this is pretty much the look so like i said anytime you have um you know any type of outside run you can see for the most part uh those flats really cover well the Eagles have horrible linebackers, but you can see right there, Riley made the play. <laughs> so it's like there's still a lot of really good, um, you know, even with bad linebackers, it's really all about the hard flats. The hard flats are really going to get it done. Uh, and then, like I said, I mean, you, even when it comes to like, you don't necessarily have to pinch the defensive line either. I just typically do that. That's more for um, that's more for the inside runs. You can see right there, that run had to go inside. You can find this in most playbooks. You guys probably know this uh, play. It's the mid blitz, but there's a very different setup. I've used this play for years, but ultimately, the best way to do it now is by pinching everything. You want to? I don't want to. I don't want to pinch the, uh, the 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 DBs though. I just want to pinch. The, the linebackers typically bring them in as close as possible and then I'm just going to guess pass pretty much every time I still want to come down this gap and there's a very important reason for that I'll go over longer uh, in, in the video but ultimately um, you can get a lot of switch pressures if you do the trick that I just did there and that's pretty much what's going to make this play successful so we'll do that again um, ultimately I have to pay attention to the running back when I make my strafe adjustment I can either strafe to follow my, my running back assignment, or if he's blocking, I would just strafe in the opposite direction where there's three receivers. That's probably one of the things that people will probably struggle with, is you have to know where you're going pre-snap. So if the running back goes down the pattern, I have to follow him, but I have to strafe in that direction. If he doesn't, I have to go in the opposite direction. There, that was a play action. See, once again, both guys get off the edge. It's out of the 4-3 wide nine, the outside safety blitz, and the cover two invert. So when it comes to uh, the outside safety blitz and the cover two invert, you don't really have to do anything. They set themselves up. 
I find it's best um, to actually use the safeties, get them down to the box a little bit closer if you have time. I also find it's best to pinch the defensive line, uh, but you see when you do that, these safeties have a tendency to walk back. I don't know why EA can't fix that where when you make adjustments, uh, it kind of resets the play because that can kind of catch you off guard. So sometimes it's best to not do anything at all uh, and just basically let the computer do it. Now there, I didn't even know the play was starting. You see, when we're off the bat, I wasn't even doing anything because I was still talking and it shut the run play down. As far as the other play goes, um, this one here, it's good. You know what I mean? It's a good run play, but also a good run stopping defense. It looks the exact same, but it's really, you know, you use this as a scheme. You, they're, they're, there's a reason that they're meant to look the same, and it's to catch your opponent off guard. So they're thinking that that outside blitz is coming in, and boom, you hit him with an inside run. There was a, I mean, I don't know what was going on with that animation. That would look glitchy as hell. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to end the video there. Go ahead and we'll put, uh, Put something up here so the computer doesn't want to play if you guys want to see more defensive plays i want to do a pass defense next let me know in the comments section with the like button other than that thanks for watching man wish it out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more link in the description below